Welcome back friends, welcome back. This is again the Open Veil TV and we are back with another video. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you can be alerted whenever I post a new video. And please, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have any question, bring it as well. So, let's get into it. Today, we're going to be talking about Luke chapter 16. Because I've been seeing a lot of people using Luke chapter 16 to say that when you die, you go to heaven and or you go to hell on the spot. And many are saying, well, you know what? Um, it is not a parable. And the reason they say that is because they say, Whenever Jesus is giving a parable, he never mentioned anybody's name. Now, the real question is, why did Jesus mention Lazarus? Um, what was the point of him mentioning Lazarus? Well, um... I was doing a little digging onto the Lazarus thing to see um, what it actually means. And this is what I actually found, basically. I was looking at the book of Luke chapter 16, you know. And as I was looking at the chapter... Uh, it did say something like this. It mentioned Lazarus, you know. There was a certain beggar named Lazarus. So I, you know, clicked on the name Lazarus. And it says that it is basically um, the name of two Israelites. Now, is it only two Israelites whose name is Lazarus? No. There could be more. So we have one that's called you know, Lazarus or Eliezer, the beggar, or B, the brother of Martha and Mary. Now, we don't know who or which Lazarus that is. But as I was looking at the thing, it keeps saying the name of two Israelites. And I think... And I think this is interesting because we don't know if it's Lazarus, the 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 the, the brother of Mary and Martha. Um, but actually, the name Lazarus, it looks like it comes from the word, um, the, it means whom God helps. Um, so. Probably from the Hebrew origin, El Azor. Okay. And when I click on El Azor, it means God has helped. So when I looked at the when I looked at the story of the rich man and Lazarus, it's basically telling me there is a rich man and there is whom God helped. Now we could say, well, you know what, Jesus resurrected Lazarus from the tomb, so that could be the case. Or it could mean whoever's name is Lazarus basically means whom God helped. Just as Moses means saved from the water, so it, it would be in the same sense. Now, that being said, that being said, I want to say that one of the reasons why I think, or I should say I believe, that this is a parable and not necessarily an actual story, meaning that the men went to hell, the rich men went to hell, and, the, and Lazarus went to heaven on the spot, is because of how the Bible describes hell for us. Uh, many believe that there will be communication between heaven and hell. 
I don't believe that's the case at all. This is why I say that. So let's go to the book of um, Revelation. So we are looking at we are looking at the story of the witch and Lazarus, where it talks about Lazarus, meaning whom God helped, right? So let's go to the book of Revelation and see how the Bible describes hell. So we're going to go to chapter 19 first, because it's chapter 20. So in chapter 19, we have the, after Jesus Christ comes to pick up his people, we have the marriage of the supper of the Lamb, where everybody is, is in white and feasting with the Lamb. And at the same time, we have um, Satan up. Okay. At the same time we are in heaven, the dead, the, the wicked are dead. Okay. They are waiting for, the, um, for Jesus Christ to come. And we get in chapter 20, we have, we know for sure there's a thousand years that we're going to be in heaven. Bible didn't say what we're going to be doing in heaven for a thousand years, but I'm actually going to be playing devil's advocate right here. I'm, I think in that 1,000 years, we're going to be looking at the records of those that are lost. At the same time, I think, now this is not doctrine, this is just me thinking. At the same time, we're going to be looking at, we're going to, we're going to be looking at why those that are lost are lost, we're going to also be looking at why some people actually made it to heaven. For instance, I'm pretty sure Stephen will be like, "Why? how is? How did Paul get in here? And of course, God's going to open the books. Now, that's for the thousand years. Um, because if you read the whole chapter, the whole thing, the first resurrection happens um, before the thousand years. Now, we get to this part, but I want to jump to that, the judgment before the great white throne. So what Rob is doing is, it tells you how the devil is defeated, and then it goes back to tell you um, what happened before that. So let's actually see what happened before that. So, when the thousand years are expired, Satan will be loose out of prison, okay? Now, they're going to be judged. And I saw a great right throne, verse number, verse number 11, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fell away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. So the books were open. Now, is it literal books? I don't know. We don't know that. And which one is the book of life? And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works, meaning all the dead from the, from the earth and from the sea, they all actually came alive for that moment. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and the dead in hell, death in hell, delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged according, every man according to their works. Now, Bible does say here, and death in hell delivered up the dead. Does that mean some people are already in hell? That could be the case. I don't know. The same way that. Some people, God resurrected and they were and they were already in heaven. Moses is an example. And those that were resurrected with Jesus Christ, whenever he resurrected at um, uh, on that when he when after he resurrected, those that were in the tomb with him, resurrected with him, the same way God could have already sent some people to hell. I don't know. But he says that right here. Now here's the thing. After death and hell, you know, brought back their dead ones, Bible says that before they were cast into the lake of fire, Satan went to do one more attack. 
and that's why that's why that's why I think in the book of Luke chapter 16 it is mostly a parable because whenever you are in hell or hellfire you're not thinking of coming out of it or thinking of getting hell from above why because this is right here and Satan shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to what? To gather them together to battle. So the 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 motive of those that are going to be in hell is to, or in hellfire, is to battle. Against whom? Well, Bible says, and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about in the middle of the city and fire came down from heaven from God out of heaven and devoured them the devil that deceived them was cast in the lake of fire and in brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever and ever so the idea that the rich man is calling to Abraham to get Lazarus to get some water into his tongue cannot be an actual literal scene or an actual or, or a literal um, story because those that actually get to be thrown in the lake of fire, their only purpose was to kill God's saints. Those that will be, those that are burning in hellfire, will not be thinking of getting help from the God's people because the only motive was to kill God's people. I must say it again. So this time I'm gonna be the guy, the camera. Those that are gonna be devoured by hellfire that's coming out of heaven from God the reason that they get hellfire on them is because their objective was to go up to the city and destroy God's people which means there is no way that the rich man in a literal sense there is no way the rich man will be calling Abraham to get Lazarus to help him. Because, because the only time you get to be in hellfire is at, at the third coming of Jesus Christ. Maybe I am not understanding but I'm pretty sure from what God has shown me. Luke 16 couldn't be a true story, but more likely a parable. Yes, it doesn't say the word parable. But realize that the saints, those, remember, Lazarus means, Lazarus means, God has help, right? God has help. In that time, when the when the wicked will go up to the, on the breadth of the earth to encompass the camp of the saints about in the lovely city, God has helped his saints by throwing down fire from him out of heaven to devour the wicked in hell fire. Which means at, a, at, a, at some point, the saints, we are all considered Lazarus. In a sense, God's saints are considered Lazarus. Why? Because when the devil and his people were about to capture or destroy the city, the beloved city, God will have rained fire out of heaven from him to devour the wicked. We are God's Lazarus. I don't know. But 
that's what I see. Anyway, guys, let me know what let me let me know what you guys think on this part. Let me know what you guys think on this part. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you have any question, don't forget to hit that comment section and put it right there. Again, thank you for watching the video. Hit that like button and the subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Until then, this was the Open World TV. Bye for now.